comes to building custom motorcycles, having a streamlined and tidy electrical system is key. A wiring harness that's unorganized and all over the place is a real quick way to make your builds look pretty amateur. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I set up a single wire tail light and how using diodes and resistors is a relatively cheap and easy way to accomplish it. It will work for many things. It doesn't have to be just motorcycles. You can use this on cars or using custom LED strips that you find that aren't for motorsport application. Let's get into it now and we're gonna go over the theory and the parts that are needed to accomplish this task. For this to work, you're gonna need three items, a resistor and two diodes. A resistor's basic function is to take an input current and reduce it. When wiring it in line with an LED, you would notice that the LED would be dimmer compared to that of a full 12 volts, which is typical in most vehicles. A diode works like a check valve. It will only allow current to pass in one direction. This is helpful for controlling the currents and what direction you want them to flow. The stripe on most diodes indicates the direction. Flip this on accident and you'll be met with a dead stop. Let's take a look at the diagram for our specific use. In the top right, you will have your wire coming from your running light. This is typically 12 volts coming directly from your battery. As it makes its way through the diode and into the resistor, the 12 volts is reduced and sent to the tail light. This creates a brightness that is a percentage of the full 12 volts. Depending on the resistor's rating, you can control the level of brightness that you want your running light to be. Think of this as a fixed dimmer. The more resistance, the more dim the light. The blue wire is from your brake switch. This is 12 volts that's only sent through when the switch is activated. The current is sent through the diode and supplies the light with 100% power, making for a bright brake light. Pretty easy, right? Let's move on to how you would put these components together in a real scenario. So hopefully you understand how to make a single wire taillight. This method can be used not just for taillights and brake lights. Think about blinkers and other situations where you need to control the power of an LED without a controller. If you like building motorcycles or you're just into motorcycles, then check out this video right here. It's actually a build series that I just started building the CB550 start to finish. And if you want to see the single wire taillight in use, check out this video right here of my 1977 Harley Davidson shovelhead. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, see ya.